In direct mapping, the disadvantage is restriction on the placement. And to overcome that, we have the second mapping technique, associative mapping. In associative mapping, a memory block can be placed in any of the available clash lines. And to understand this in depth, let me take the previous example, what we have used in direct mapping. Here we have a main memory of size 128 bytes, cache size 32 bytes and block size 8 bytes. In associative mapping, there is no restriction on the placement. Therefore, I can place the block anywhere. So let's say I pick up the block 2. Let's place them in line 0. Whenever a block is copied into the cache, the complete block index is placed in the tag bits. So I can say this as tag bits hold block index bits. What about its size? The tag bit size is same as the block index bits. Here we have the block index as 4. Therefore, even the tag bit size is 4 bits. For demo purpose, let me fill the cache with few blocks. Now, let's assume the CPU makes a request. This is the physical address. And because we know the block size, it is 8 bytes, so it is 2 power 3. So, we need 3 bits for block offset. So the least significant 3 bits will be the block offset and the rest of the bits will be the tag bits. As of now, the CPU knows that the cache is full, but it doesn't know whether the requested block is available or not. And to check that, so it compares the physical address tag bits with each line's tag bits. So for the first line, it doesn't match, second line, it does not match, for the third line, it matches and therefore it understands that the requested block is available in the cache and this is the one then based on the block offset it goes to the corresponding byte and gets the data and because the data is available this is a hit let's try one more suppose this is a physical address the least significant three bits these are the block offset and these are the tag bits now again comparison has to happen so the cpu compares the tag bits with each of the lines tag bits here we see that first comparison fails second third even the fourth and therefore it understands that this request is a mess and based on the block index it goes to the main memory and this is the block this has to be loaded into the cache but here we see that the cache is already full so here the cpu has a choice to copy the data from block 3 to any of the cache line and here there are many algorithms based on which we can replace the cache line and few famous algorithms are FIFO which is first in first out whichever data was loaded onto the first that has to be replaced or we can go by MRU that is most recently used one has to be replaced or we can you go with LRU least recently used or we can even randomize we can randomly replace any of the line and these all fall into cache replacement algorithms which is a very important topic for gate so i'll discuss them in detail in a separate lecture for timing understand that it uses any of the following algorithms and accordingly it replaces one of the line in the cache okay this much is enough for gate now before we proceed to the questions let's list out the formula these are the common formula whenever we know the main memory size we can add as two power physical address from cache size we can add as 2 power cache address and from block size we can add as 2 power block offset and we can calculate number of blocks as memory size by block size which is 2 power block index similarly number of lines in the cache is cache size by block size which is 2 power cache index and specific to associative mapping in physical address the least significant few bits will be the block offset and the rest of the most significant bits will be the tag bits and the tag bits is equal to the block index okay with this let's start with the questions one more thing in gate there are no direct questions from this associative mapping 
most of the questions are either from direct mapping or from set associative and that's why i'm discussing only one problem okay let's go with this here's the question an 8 kb associative cache has blocks of size 32 byte and main memory size is 1 gb find the number of tag bits and number of comparators required for such okay to solve this first let's write the given data they have given it is a associative cache and the size of the cache is 8 kb so the cache size is 8 kb 8 is 2 power 3 and k is 2 power 10 therefore i can add this as 2 power 13 bytes and then they have given the block size is 32 byte so let's write this block size is 32 byte so this could be written as 2 power 5 bytes then main memory is 1 gb so memory size is 1 gigabit this is 2 power 30 bytes now in the question they're asking number of tag bits we already know from memory size we can get the physical address size in this case it is 30 bits and from block size we can get block offset bits which is 5 bits now if i present this in a diagram physical address is 30 bits in the least significant bits will be the block offset and we have already calculated it is 5 so this is 5 then the rest of the bits will be the tag bits in this case this will be 30 minus 5 which is 25 bits that's the first answer next they're asking number of comparators required for the search now if you remember we already discussed when we know the tag bits in the physical address we need to compare it with each and every line so we need as many comparators as the number of lines so i can write this as number of comparators equal to number of cache lines so let's calculate that number of lines is cache size by block size that is 2 power 13 by 2 power 5 which is 2 power 8 lines which is 256 therefore we need 256 comparators now how about the size of comparator so each comparator should be capable of comparing these bits that is the tag bits so here we have tag bits as 25 therefore the size is 25 bit comparator 